guys and welcome to windowsreport.com in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the steam client having a very slow disk usage and like that a very slow download speed in this video i'm going to show you a very simple solution that you can try and hopefully after watching this video the problem should be fixed in this video we're going to stick and talk about windows updates and I'm gonna explain you some important things but firstly we're gonna have to go and click on the start menu and click on the settings icon or you can use the Windows plus I combination on your keyboard to get into this window then you're gonna have to scroll down a bit and click on update and security and then click on Windows update and then you can go and click on advanced options and of course here you're gonna have a lot of updates uh, it is very important that you select give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows automatically download updates even over metadata connection charges may apply and uh, will show a reminder when we're going to restart this is very important that you activate this settings the thing is that Windows comes a lot with updates and those updates will be installed sooner or later but it is very important that you have all the updates installed now because if there is let's say an update that messes up with your disk usage or your steam client Microsoft will soon launch a little update that will fix that problem. We can call it a patch that will fix that problem very, very quickly. And that is why you have to install all the updates from your Windows 10 operating system. You can go and click on check for updates then and Windows will tell you what updates will be available for you and will install them when you're ready of course. So after you try and do this install all the updates of course some updates will give you some errors but you have to restart your PC and try to install those updates again and after you install all the updates just try and see if the Steam client is working properly now but it should work smoothly and your download speed and your disk usage should go back to normal. So guys, I'm hoping that this video helped you and you managed to fix the problem. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.